We've got plenty of sunshine, already hot conditions out there this midday. There's a visible satellite picture right now and hard to find any clouds. Anywhere near deep south Texas, starting to see some clouds develop just towards our north, and there is still a chance we could see some isolated showers and thunder showers across parts of the mid and lower valley for this afternoon. But the chances are only sitting at 20%. So we're going to put this in motion, a uh, future cast here. And it's as we get into the mid to late afternoon, we start to see the clouds develop. We've got a little bit of a sea breeze boundary and also some boundaries moving in from the north. So they kind of all work together, just enough moisture around to kick off a couple of showers, thunder showers. We saw a few of those yesterday. Most of us stayed high and dry, and that's pretty much going to be the rule for this afternoon. If you're not seeing any showers around, it's just going to be sunny, hot, and extremely humid out there this afternoon. Highs are going to be averaging close to 100 or slightly above across the entire inland area today. 90 degrees for a forecast high on the island. It's going to feel like, again, about 101 to 106, and now we're running way above our valley average high of 96 degrees for this day. Out in the tropics, that's where all the excitement is, has been for a while, and now it's really starting to heat up as we have another system Hurricane Center is watching as it's just about to move off the coast of Africa into the far eastern Atlantic, giving it a 40% chance of development over the next five days. This is Tropical Depression 13. It formed late yesterday. It's moving off towards the west-northwest. And now we have newly formed Tropical Depression 14 over the western Caribbean. That system expected to continue to move off towards the west-northwest, eventually curve more northwestward, making its impact on the Yucatan Peninsula over the weekend. And then after that, we're going to have to watch it real closely here in the Rio Grande Valley. And then we still have Hurricane Genevieve, 85 mile per hour winds. This was a Category 4 hurricane a couple of days ago. It's continued to move off towards the north northwest into some colder water. For us, though, let's take a look at Tropical Depression 14 right now with 35 mile an hour winds moving west at 21 miles per hour. We'll put this official Hurricane Center track into play here, and by 7 o'clock Saturday, having it making landfall right on the tip there, Cozumel, Yucatan Peninsula there, and then working its way back out in the Gulf of Mexico late sun Saturday into Sunday. And now the current thinking is making landfall as a tropical storm near the Houston-Galveston area. But you can see the cone, though, goes all the way over to Louisiana and then almost down here into the Rio Grande Valley. So, again, we're going to watch this real closely as those tracks have been fluctuating quite a bit over the last 12 hours or so. And here's Tropical Depression 13. It's also making its way westward. We expect to become a Category 1 hurricane, making landfall near the Keys of Florida and then continuing into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And that would be, again, early to middle part next week. Our next two names on the map are Laura and Marco. And I think we'll have both of those over the next couple of days. There's your seven-day forecast then with the weekend always in view. Just isolated rain chances for today. Most of us are not going to see a drop. That's going to be the case all going all the way through the weekend. Then Sunday, another isolated chance. Better rain chances as we track the tropics in the middle of next week. Keep those tropics calm if yes, you can, Jim. Trying. All right, thank you.